Welcome to the update video. This time we're starting some projects that we had postponed in summertime as we primarily focused on the market gardening. And you catch us preparing the last bed for this year's season as we once again bought way too many onions and garlics. One of the most anticipated projects was the remodeling of the hallway of the first floor. This would allow separate entrance to two living rooms from the hallway, which currently is not possible and posed quite an unpleasant situation. As one of the rooms was a kitchen before, we also had to get rid of some electric wiring and old pipes which we had in the wall. Some of them still had water in them. As mentioned, this room was formerly a kitchen, so the old floor was quite purposeful back then. But as it is quite unpleasant for a living room, we decided to get rid of it as well. After some preparations, we were ready to cut out the old water pipes in the wall. Although we turned off the water, there was still some left in the pipes, but nothing dramatically. Most of the pipes which we didn't need anymore we were able to just cut off, but some of we had to tear apart with a plier, as the places where those are connected aren't appropriate to use. A cutting disc which sparks a lot, you will see for yourself. As we didn't want to use our camera equipment in the quite dusty environment of this construction site, we just have a few videos with a cell phone. Also, this was the first day of the teardown, which was very demanding for all of us, so we didn't have the energy to film much more. In the evening of the first day, we accomplished and two new openings for the doors in the wall yeah. and nearly filled halfway of the old door. And like always when there is a lot to do, we call for help and some of our friends answered and helped out a lot on that first weekend of the demolishing and build up process. A 
Although we had some experience within the task that lay ahead of us, getting more familiar with the steps in between felt quite pleasant. For example, here you can see Cutter, who mastered the art of mixing mortar rather fast, as we need multiple of those buckets. And after an intensive weekend, and some hours which we spent during the week in the evening, we achieved quite a good result for the time frame that we set up. This project will continue for quite a while. We want to get a lot of it done in the upcoming Mimave, which is a skill sharing event. If you're interested, let us know. We're still looking for participants. As somebody has ordered too much onion and garlic bulbs, we still had to plant them. This was not planned in this year's plan or next year's season, but we don't want to get them to, to just rot in the shed, so we decided to make some extra beds for them. Let's see how that works out, as we haven't really prepared those beds in the fashion that we did with the other ones. As you already have seen in the last update video, we started preparing a wood rack in our workshop. We want to bring some order into the workshop what is material already dedicated to a project or what is material that can be used. As mentioned in the last video, I was not pleased with the joinery that I had in mind when creating this. For the last two support beams, I switched the joinery I'm not 100% convinced, but way more pleased with this joinery than the old one. It seems like such a simple furniture, but it cleans up the workshop dramatically. We have way more space for storing now wood inside. And to prove that this construction is not a total failure, you can see it can withhold some weight. Thank you. 